Hi, it's Adrian, still recovering, but um, here with a new makeup look. And so I thought I'd go ahead and get started and show you what I did. I think it turned out to be a lot of fun and kind of turned out more springish than I thought. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and get started here. As far as, <clears throat> let's see. Um, I am working with the, the Sneaky Balm, and I have the M13 color, which is one of the newer colors. I think it's the lightest color, and so that's what I have on for my base. Um, I did go ahead and use the Beauty Pie, ah, here it is, um, their corrector, because like I said, I'm ill, and so, um, yeah, I've been needing a little bit more lately. Um, and then I use the Pretty Fresh Concealer over the top of it. And uh, as far as what I did for the blush, I actually, I've been mixing um, the Gel Crush by Flower. And this is the one, I think it's Citrus is the name, with the Peach Bums by Wet n Wild and mixing these two. And I've been really liking those as far as the look that they uh, go ahead and give. And then what I went ahead and used for the highlighter today is uh, one of my favorites, the Heroin Glow 2 by Juvia's Place. So uh, that's what I went ahead and used for my highlight today. I also put a little bit, I did a halo eye here as far as the eye look. And I used a little bit of this on top of the shadow in the middle to just give it a little bit more pop. So that's what I did with that one. And as far as the bronzer, I went ahead and used the L'Oreal Lumi Bronze It. And this is the one in light. So it's uh, shimmery and it's pretty much a golden kind of color. As far as my um, finishing powder, I used the Glowish. And... Um, this is the one in Fair. Um, I think this one runs a little bit pinker. I have a, let's see, I think it's fairly light as well, and that's a little bit more yellow. So I think this one is a little bit more pink. And um, as far as the lip, I went ahead and did the It's Complicated by Oma. This is the one that you can, uh, from the Oma by Sharon C, you can get this in Walmart. And um, apparently, yeah, you can use this for both cheek and lips if you want to. I really wasn't aware of that. I don't think it was really like said when it first came out that that's, you know, what you can do with it. Um, and then this Winx palette is fastly or quickly becoming one of my favorites. Um, it has, oh, hold on. Yeah already managed to get smudges on it. Um, yeah, it has uh, these two colors that are basically part of, well, they're the same colors that you would find in the Natasha Denona uh, Retro Palette. And um, the two greens, close to teals sort of thing. And so, um, yeah, these are really popular to put just about any color with right now. So I went ahead and used these as the bases for my look today. Um, well, actually, I went ahead and did a lot of the matte colors. So um, I did this a little bit higher than my crease. I put this one in my crease. Um, then this one I put on the inner corner. And then this one I put on the outer corner and a little bit on the inner corner to create the halo eye. And as far as actual um, middle part, I did this shimmer here um, in the middle of the halo eye. And like I said, I did add in a little bit of the Juvia's Place um, highlighter on top of it just to give it a little bit more sparkle. Um, I also used the Emeride uh, Gel Eyeliner on the bottom as far as my eyeliner. This way that the eye look came out. And, um, yeah, and then I also used a little bit of uh, this color right on the inner corner as well. So, um, yeah, it's a fun look. I think it turned out fun. I think it turned out more spring-like than what I was thinking it was going to be. But, um, yeah, 
it's a really fun look. And uh, I think that this palette has a lot of versatility in it, like I was saying. With uh, these two rows, you could definitely do a Valentine's Day look off of it. That would definitely work. And um, even adding in the yellow to some of those would be really pretty. And um, yeah, I think the mats in here are just pretty gorgeous. So uh, that's the video. That's the look. And I hope that you have a great day. Okay? Bye.